I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Trevor's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition right here on Missile Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video. And of course, we are playing on Insanity difficulty, which has been uh, pretty fun so far, except we haven't really fought anything outside of the first uh, new Freedom's Progress mission. But that changes today, because in today's episode, we are going to recruit the Archangel. And I need to tell you guys this. Also, huge shout out to those of you in the in the premieres. I sincerely appreciate you guys and I love hanging out with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, your support on this series means a lot. Um, I know it's not the most popular series, but but those of you that are enjoying it, I I'm doing it for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but I have been hemming and hawing about this specific thing and how to do this for so long because there is a character that we can get. If we go to the, the Professor, and then uh, the, uh, do the professor, and then we do the warlord dossier and recruit the warlord, which if you know who it is, you know who it is. Uh, we take the character that we recruit from the warlord and we bring him to the archangel one, and we'll actually have a really cool scene with unique dialogue. It doesn't really show any new character development for that character, but it does show an enemy that we'll see in the future. It shows a really cool scene with him. So I've been hibbing and hawing if I'm gonna do that, but. The fact of the matter is, is our Commander Corey Shepard would not delay going on this Archangel mission and trying to save somebody who's trying to do right by the galaxy. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Yes, I'm going to miss that that little scene, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to show it in a future video. And I think we can. I think we can. So today we are heading this way. We have a squad of Zaida Miranda, and I highly recommend the best the best character that you can bring on this mission for the most unique dialogue is going to be Zaid. Uh, so that's who we're going to bring with us. Don't forget, he was a merc his entire life. He is a merc. He was the founder of the Blue Suns. He knows a lot about these characters. So in the last episode, you saw us get recruited. In this one, we're going to come talk to the Blue Suns driver, and we're going to go see if we can uh, infiltrate these merc groups and help the Archangel. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Yeah, you know what? I think we're ready. Ready when you are. Get in. And you get to select your mission, your your people again. And of course, like I said, we're gonna pick Miranda and Zaid because I do think Zaid in particular perfect for this mission. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. And I can. They tell you what we're up against? Oh, I know Just enough. tell us where to go. Archangels hold up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, Zaid's right on this one. So we can investigate and kind of find out a little bit more so about what's happening here. the only here. way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. So apparently they have a Are gunship? Using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Okay, so we definitely need this guy on our team because he sounds awesome. Now? On the far he side sounds of the so bridge, cool. Now hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. Now, of course, if you know who it is, don't spoil it in the premiere. How'd they but... get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. 
We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. Oh, so they even, they have their own men trapped there. What do you know there. about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with it for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. Hey, they hired me, man. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> Let's find him first. This is I'm why you take Zaid, my friends. He is quite the character to have. So we can look around, kind of, kind of explore and see where we are. We're in a different part of Omega, one that you it doesn't really, you can't really be here unless you're on this mission. It's not like you explore. It's not like it has, uh, you know, shops or anything like that. Uh, Omega, man, what a dump. I'd like to hang out here. Part of it reminds me of Dead Space. Part of it reminds me of Bioshock. Uh, it's it's got an interesting blend of a lot of different Shepard, games. It feels like. The area, oh. but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. You'll see a sniper rifle. Somebody with... Somebody is sniping over here, and you can actually see... You can kind of see them off in the distance there. In fact, I'm pretty sure... Unfortunately, we can't switch to... Uh, we can't switch guns here at all. But, uh... I do, I just wanted to point out that that, 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 you know, you can see somebody in blue armor, it looks like, kind of stands up and takes a shot right there. Sniper shot, whoa, almost hit me. Anyways, I would also like to bring up that we are heading into this mission probably the least prepared that we possibly could. This is an incredibly difficult mission, especially on Insanity, and we're going into it with not the best squad for power-wise, and definitely not the best in, squad for, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. well, you'll see. So it looks like these here are the eclipse. From the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. Let's go ahead and talk to Jeroth here. You lead the eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I know. Jeroth, I run Omega's eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? What is your so plan the of attack? The infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Cowards. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. It's a good point. Fire Eclipse on Omega in the first place. Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. I like more. this guy, Archangel. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. I mean, you guys got into the whole criminal thing like, hey, you can't blame you know anybody. Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? I want the Where did details. He come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course. It really won't matter then. So we did hear Good idea. that Archangel had a team, uh, but that they were able to take it down, everybody in his team, and the only person that's left is him. We can get this message to Tarak here. I've I've spoken to Garm, and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations would be ready to move on Aria without the assistance of the other two. Oh, ho, ho. So that will give us a quest that we can then give that to. That's a little side quest we can get. And we can go give that to Arya. And uh, I don't think she's going to be too happy to learn that, that the, the mercenary groups here are considering attacking her. 
So this is a new hacking thing here. We can actually come in and see this EZO smuggling accounts. And we need to find the one that looks like the target code segment that you're seeing in the thing there. And some of this can be a little rough, uh, but we were able to grab that one and that one. And now we need one that has uh, a lot of blue text on top, which looks like this one here. Perfect. So you just have to match the code to what you're given for the code. And we'll be able to get 4,000 credits and 500 element zero. But the real reason we're here is don't forget the Eclipse, they use mechs. That's their big thing. And they have a big mech that we fought before that gave us so much trouble. And uh, we can actually go ahead and bypass, hack this thing, and potentially turn it on its masters, which uh, I'll have you know, I'm very excited about doing that. So we just have to make sure that we line these all up. We got plenty of time for this. plenty of time and we just hacked this ymir mech which is uh very good for us that should slow them down perfect it'll be hostile if they activate it it sure will be thank you miranda for pointing out my brilliance so definitely definitely recommend doing that it's gonna help you out a lot remember what i said this is a very difficult mission in this game all right so here is where we're going to look around and see this is the blood pack room. You'll see all the Vorchas there. They make up most of the blood pack and they are led by this Krogan here, Garm. So this is the part that uh, if you brought a character that you get from the dossier, the Warlord, a Krogan, if you will, uh, this guy is going to be like, hey, why are you traveling with this human? Like, don't you, you know, uh, and then he'll he'll kind of talk about some other. Anyways, we'll I'll, I'll show you the unique dialogue in the warlord dossier episode so just you'll see you'll see you the blood pack leader name's garm that's all you need to know i'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war ask your questions and go okay when did the blood pack attack damn Tarek wants us to wait i hate waiting but he says the sons have a plan and they don't want us getting in their way huh we're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their max. <laughs> well, we just took care of part of Why that problem. Why the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. <laughs> Especially Archangel. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one on one. That's you, wait a minute. You fought him one on one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave. Till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. It, he's a Turian. He's a Turian sniper, wears blue armor, and uh, is is super good. He's a vigilante. And he's good at small small group expertise. Guys. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. All right. I should get going. About time. So that's Garm. This Vorcha. Guess you'll live to see another day, bud. I can't wait to show you. So in so I will show if you're if you're curious about seeing, if you're watching this in the future, and you're curious about seeing the unique dialogue that you can get from bringing the person that you get from the warlord dossier in the warlord dossier video i will show this unique this unique uh this unique scene with with that character uh so just i just wanted to point that out that is what we'll do so um i think i think that's the best of both worlds for us so if you are looking for that scene and you want to check it out it will be in that video but for now oh no they died looks like uh this Turian here, see he's shooting. You can kind of see him way off in the distance there. Let's go ahead and hack this protection money accounts. Uh, this is, like I said, the new hacking that we can do here. So we want uh, this one here. And it looks like... 
Um, this one here. And this one there. Perfect. Those can get a little tricky, but hey, 6,000 credits, by the way, for that. And you know how low we are on credits, so anything we can get is good. The Vorcha being taken down. Those, none of those shots hitting us, which is... I'm a pretty big fan of that. We can go ahead and bypass this door here as well. Go ahead and pop those. This one moving what feels like a little bit faster, but maybe not. Well, it's a little bit easier to do. So we'll go ahead and we'll bypass this door. Get access inside. And we'll find a med kit that we can pick up for a metagel. A Blue Sun's weapon shipment, which we can scan. That will give us submachine gun damage that we can research. We can't do that yet because we don't have the professor. 4,000 credits and power cells, which is heavy weapon ammo, which uh, trust me, you're going to want. So this this area here, very, very good to open and bypass that door. If you miss that door, you miss an upgrade for the SMG. And that is, if you're playing as, uh, that's bad. Oh no, another person taken down. That was a freelancer actually right there. These are all freelancers. You'll see uh, they're not, you know, any Eclipse or anything. Let's see if we can actually see him a little bit closer up now. There he is. That's definitely a Turian. All right, let's talk to I'm this freelancer. For Kathka. You and me both, lady. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. All right. I'll be right back. Good luck. So before we come over here to the gunship and talk to Sergeant Kathka, the guy that we want to look for, we're going to head into this side here. What do you want, freelancer? nothing don't be rude to me and we can grab a metagel or 100 credits because we already have a, a metagels apparently and in this room this my friends is why we brought zaid with us so there's nothing that we can grab but we can go ahead and meet Tarek, the leader of this entire organization here that's happening get this freelancer out of here i don't have time for this shit. i just have a few questions about the operation get Get this scum out of my face. Tarek, what's eating your ass? Zaid. You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid, I gotta deal with this shit. Gent Talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. Interesting. So yeah, that entire scene with Zaid and Tarek uh, won't happen if Zaid's not there, obviously. So uh, it's kind of cool to have him. What if Archangel survives all the attacks and you sons are on your own? That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's hmm. good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. That doesn't seem that long. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. Seems like he's Archangel panicking. Get the Blue Suns so mad at him. He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. Yeah, he's like, what do you he's know panicking. About Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. A Turian. That, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Knew it. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. Interesting. We better get going. Good idea. So Archangel sure almost took Kathy. down the leader of the Blue Suns here by what? Sneaking into his home? That's so cool. Damn it. Blood pack better wait for my they will. Don't worry. I already talked to him. 
He's waiting. He's waiting. So now we can go talk to... Watch out for any sni rogue sniper rifle shots. We can go talk to this guy, uh, the Kathka's assistant. Looks like Kathka essentially is working on the gunship over there. Kathka. This is one of the coolest, by the way, renegade interruptions that we have in the entire game. And no matter if you're playing Paragon, Renegade, doesn't matter. I think you should do this. It's just so cool. Sergeant Anyways. Kathka. Kathka. Kafka? Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Who's that? Salky? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. Nah, Batarians. stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Yeah, I have a lot of questions, actually. Gotta wait for him to light up a cigarette. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. He's a good. Few more tweaks. She'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Gotta make sure that my camera's not in the way, because trust me, you're gonna want to see this. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Sounds good to me. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! I love how all the freelancers have like armor that looks Archangel like it came out of Mass Effect 1. Surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to a hundred percent before Tarek decides he needs her again. And here we go. You're working too hard. <laughs> so cool that's gonna actually make the gunship not operate at 100 capacity 100 we need what the that hell are we waiting for come on we'll give these guys a surprise of our own Spotted them. god so cool just so cool so we are immediately going to start shooting and you don't want to shoot you can actually shoot at him there but we are not going to do that instead we're going to take down the freelancers that we can here we're on the bridge we got some renegade points from doing that trust me it is so worth doing that and you'll also see that we have some of the we're going to go ahead and charge here punch in back up a little bit watch our barrier go around the other side here hopefully be able to charge as soon as we can dead looks like we took them all down nice you'll see ammo everywhere looks like archangel's vital signs this is his team i'm guessing by the looks of things and we have a bomb down here useful you'll see kind of all around his area we were able to take those guys down super fast uh probably because fan guards are just so cool anyways we can grab this, this here as well handy. that's going to increase our tech damage make sure you grab that that is super important we need that Hardcore. Okay, I've taken a second to adjust my my stuff. I have my incendiary weapons on, and you'll see super importantly. So Enemies. we can actually grab. What? Where? Where? 
Where are you? Where are you shooting enemies? Hmm. There's Archangel. Oh, it looks like there's another freelancer up there, but I guess it was taken down. There's a med kit here that you can grab. We're actually going to save that just in case we need a med kit later. But before we head up these stairs, we kind of just want to look around and, and kind of take in our surroundings and see what we have here. So we have this door here. This door has been sealed by authority of the base commander, which is Archangel. And uh, we just want to look around and make sure, make sure that we, you know, we kind of know the layout. We know there's a bomb there. Potentially we can shoot that. This place is about to be under siege in a big way. Uh, this is one of the coolest missions in the game, I think, but it also is, like I said, one of the hardest on Insanity, especially when you're here without powers upgraded and research learned and all that. This fight can be crazy. So I just I just want you to, you know, kind of scope it out. Make sure you know where to go if things get a little, a little hot and heavy. So we're gonna head up these stairs. I definitely recommend saving before you do. You'll actually see that there is a freelancer here that's trying to take down the shields of, or uh, trying to take down this door that he's hidden in. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to overload him. And then we're gonna charge in. Boom, baby. And just melee him to death. Sweet. Looks like he was able to get that door open right away. But if we come in here, we can open this wall safe for 4,000 credits. I love how many credits we're getting in this mission because we desperately need them. And uh, we'll also notice that there's more med kits here, right in the corner. Uh, more, it looks like his team, Archangel's team, is in body bags all over the place. So, poor guy must have lost lost a lot. A lot of, lot of people here. So, let's go ahead and let's open this door. Uh, we can save now that the last enemy is defeated. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to open this door. Guys, I love this part so much. Archangel. Shepard. Yeah! I thought you were dead. Oh, man. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. Guys, it is Garrus. I knew it! What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. <laughs> Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. <laughs> You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Yeah, but I, I was doing... There was, like, stuff I was doing. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life. Funneling all those witless idiots into scope but it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I like that deal. That's a good deal. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. 
And we'll have a renegade option here as well. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's get And we're going to immediately start shooting these. This is one of the hardest parts of the entire game. And I'm not I'm not joking. Uh, because we just we just don't have that much. We don't have research. We don't have most of our squad mates' powers leveled up. Uh, this is a very hard fight. We're also dealing with enemies that have so many different types of defenses. So right out of the gate, we're dealing with these mechs, which are very easy to deal with. And I'm, I, you know, I wouldn't be too worried about them. You'll also see that we are using, we're gonna go ahead and use warp there. I mean, overload and then uh, a concussive shot on this guy just to hopefully delay him a bit. Unfortunately, it looked like Zaid hit the, took that down. And we have another Ymir mech here, or uh, Loki mech that we're gonna take down. I think that's a variant. And hopefully we could do this. Uh, we do have the actual troopers now themselves coming in here. So we're gonna go ahead and hopefully take them out as much as we can anyways. We wanna watch our shield to make sure we don't take too much health damage just so that we can, you know, actually hopefully do stuff later. Now, unfortunately for us, oh, that worked actually really well. I was gonna say, we don't really have anything that's going to shred through shields uh, exclusively on Shepard. Right here, we can also grab the Vindicator Battle Rifle. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we have another soul, uh, another trooper coming over, so we're gonna immediately just start shooting at him. Uh, there is one coming in behind us as well. I heard that, so. Watching our health, concussive shotting this guy, knocking him down, and then uh, that killed him actually, so we're good there. We'll grab some ammo, and we do have people behind us as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna equip the Katana Shotgun. And uh, hopefully, we're going to charge in, eliminate that guy super fast, and then uh, we have a Loki mech that we're just going to knock out. But apparently, there was a guy behind us as well, so we're going to just knock him out. I don't know how he got up there or where he came from, but we're doing okay so far. We're going to switch to our pistol here. This is super chaotic, but we're doing the best we can. A trooper coming in. We need to be careful because not only are there going to be troopers, but there's going to be engineers as well that are going to try to make our life a living hell. So we're going to overload that. And we are going to equip this again. And we are going to charge. That kind of just. There we go. Fortunately, that guy sitting right there. We're going to hopefully be able to overload this guy. Because he's got some big shields. Big juicy shields there. And we'll go ahead and when we can, we'll charge. You'll actually see that there was a engineer there and there was also another guy there that we were able to hit so we're gonna wait for charge to come off cooldown take down that solarian and then we have another this is an eclipse heavy who's going to be shooting rockets at us we want to make sure that obviously those don't hit us and we'll charge in and hopefully be able to get in a melee hit or two watch these shields see if we can get a big overload here unfortunately it looks like we're being hit from this direction as well so we're going to try to flashbang this or concussive shot uh that's not actually gonna work so we're gonna flashbang and we need to watch out get our shields back and we'll go in and we'll charge we'll charge uh waiting to charge we'll charge this guy Taking him down. Reload our gun. Beautiful. Whew. Nice shot, Garrus. I want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Oh, no. Not the mech that I sabotaged. Oh, yeah. Online. Yep. But we'll be okay. So we're going to go back up to this window uh, and, oh, excuse me, and hopefully be able to do some damage here. So we're going to switch back to our pistol here just because we're at range. Grab as much ammo as we can. We're actually going to try to help these guys take down this. Uh, we're going to help our Ymir mech. I don't want to accidentally shoot it. So we're going to watch our powers because we do, we do not, we do not, do not, do not want to take down the mech on accident. Um, that thing is going to be helping us so much here. So we want to just help it fight off the the other guys that you're seeing here. So we're actually going to see if, unfortunately, we're just not able to get any powers against the small dudes. 
but we're gonna do our best now when the ymir mech is looking really low what we're gonna do is because this is insanity too they're gonna they're gonna absolutely rip through this guy um but once he starts getting low we are actually gonna be the ones to blow off its head which is going to cause it to explode and for a ton of damage so there is a heavy there that's that guy's going to do a lot of damage so we want to see if we can focus that one down so that he doesn't destroy the ymir mech and i'm trying not to shoot it but obviously it's hard to do scientists moving in or engineers i should say moving in you can see or their sentinel ammo or their armor um so we're gonna try to see if we can take that those down just a little bit and hopefully be able to looks like we're gonna be able to get an overload on that perfect and unfortunately they were able to take down the yermir mech which i figured would happen we're gonna go ahead and actually just take down that vanguard and then we're gonna turn around and equip whoop see i did not mean to do that i meant to do that there we go so unfortunately our shockwave is now on cooldown but that should be okay watch garris's health make sure he's okay we're gonna have more people coming up here we saw them kind of enter and we're gonna go ahead and take down this engineer no problem easy Make sure we're watching, paying attention to anybody else. Jareth himself, the leader of the Eclipse, will eventually start fighting, and he might already be on his way across the bridge, uh, but I'm not positive about that. So let's actually check. By the time I get over here, he might have already have entered. It's not looking very good. We got that. There's also more that we can grab over here. There's a footlocker here that we can search for 2,000 credits. Wow, we have some downtime. It looks like, potentially, there he is. Jareth, the leader. The leader of the Eclipse right here in our own base. Armor being his primary thing here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to come around. We're going to destroy his uh, his AI thing that he sends out, his AI drone there. We're going to go ahead and warp. We're going to charge. We're going to get out of here real quick. Jareth going down. We can charge again. Goodbye, Jareth. Woo! That's the Eclipse down. But that's not that's not it, my friends. We still have more. Come find me before they regroup. Yep, absolutely. So we can go ahead and loot the area now before before that. Garrus will actually, uh, he'll, his health will replenish at certain points during the fight. So that right there is a pretty difficult part. And I definitely recommend saving frequently as much as you can during this. Because it is, it is a very challenging part of the game. In case, you know, in case I haven't said that nearly enough. So we can come look around. Come see me. We'll go talk to Garrus and kind of see what's going on over here. We already, here. We already got this wall safe, but I do want to just point out that it is here in case you missed it. And you can grab that. Whew. I'm glad that we have those charge, that charge off of cooldown so frequently. Uh, we have level three right now into our charge. And it, you, you can see we can wait until it's at four and we can use it all the time. It's so strong. And especially when you use it for repositioning it's just great come see me all right so let's go ahead and talk to garris you're kicking ass shepherd they barely touched me hell yeah and we got jareth in the process i've been hunting that little bastard for months yeah tell me How about that guy him? he's been shipping tainted Ezo all over citadel space half the goods i seized back at csec came from his team here on omega i took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process his I'm brother surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. Good idea. They reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Oh no. We heard about the explosives in the tunnels. The they were trying to clear that? it. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Um, I'm not leaving you alone, bud. Split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Yeah, uh, Zaid's gonna stay with you. Zaid, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. Which way? How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind oh, us. I can find that. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. You got Good it. Luck. All right, so we're taking Miranda because Miranda has warp, and we're about to fight enemies that regenerate health. 
Warp is the best ability to deal with that. Yes, Zaid does have incendiary or uh, uh, disruptor ammo, which is basically the same effect as warp. Um, but you're going to send him to. Prote I want it on command, right? Not not necessarily just like basically waiting for shots. So I also recommend saving yet again. And we also have a medical station and uh, a weapons loadout, and we can actually change. You might remember uh, we have these these weapons. Um, the arc projector is not bad, but we're not going to use that right now. Uh, and then we did pick up the heavy, the the assault rifle, which of course we can't use um, on pretty much anybody except for our friend here, who can use the vindicator. So we'll give Zaid the vindicator, and uh, we'll grab this too, just for the hundred credits. All right. Let's get ready for this as we head down here. Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. We're gonna go, we're gonna run. We can see it right there, that green that green right there. See if we can get this. And we'll seal it. Shut down. Ten seconds. Shield to fail. Absolutely, they just dominate us as soon as they walk in. So we're gonna go ahead and warp. Here we go. And we're going to flashbang. And actually, if we can. Got it. Obviously, we took a ton of damage there. We're gonna go ahead and grab this medic med cat. I'll deal with the bridge. You close those shutters. We can't fight them in two places at once. That's true. So, obviously, you'll see that they kind of came in. There was a Vorcha. I think there was a Krogan in the back there. And those are the type of enemies you were gonna be dealing with. You're gonna be dealing with uh uh, you're gonna be dealing with Vorcha, Krogan, and Varen. All all three of which, by the way, can regenerate health. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head to the garage first, which is the one on this side. And we're going to immediately get down into cover. You can see how quickly they were able to actually just destroy my cover. We're going to hopefully be able to use this instead. But, I mean, so much damage. These guys are able to pump out so much damage on Insanity so, so quickly. We're going to go ahead and hopefully use, uh, put our Incendiary ammo back on, because apparently we don't have it. We're going to equip our pistol just so we can try to take them out a little bit from afar here. One Vorcha down. Go ahead and reload. Taking that one down. And then, of course, we do have some more here. We're going to go ahead and use her warp. This is going to actually, not only does it hurt their armor, but it prevents them from regenerating health, which, like I said, all of these enemies are actually capable of doing. Her warp isn't on this the fastest cooldown. See what I mean? Just using, just coming out of cover for that second. Absolutely shrecked me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to warp this guy. Take down, take him down real quick. We do have another Vorcha right over here that we want to deal with. We're going to hopefully... Perfect! And we're going to go ahead and warp. We need to be careful because we now have Varen here. We're going to go ahead and charge this one as well. It's just enough to hopefully kind of knock it out. And then we'll go ahead and just melee it to death. We have another... We have a Krogan coming in, it looks like. We're going to want to deal with him by using our warp. Unfortunately, that actually missed... We're going to go back into cover. We need to seal the shutters as quickly as possible, but we need to deal with this these Krogan as, as much as we can as well. So let's go ahead and let's flashbang. And then we're going to wait. We're going to charge. Oh, getting hit by that. We're going to duck into cover real quick. We need to watch out for this Blood Pack Warrior. Which is right over here, actually. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully... Whoop. Hopefully warp him now with Miranda. And then we're going to go ahead and equip this. Hopefully it does not, it should, it does have our incendiary, perfect. We're actually gonna go into this Krogan. We're gonna charge. We're gonna ma uh, we're gonna just shoot him dead. I was worried about it, but no, we just shot him dead instead. And then we're going to do here. Perfect. And then we're going to seal this shutter. We're gonna back up just a little bit. And hopefully, before they even come in, we're going to go ahead and use her warp here just to kind of stop them. Perfect. Garrus, uh, this is a timed thing, as you can see. Garrus's health looking about halfway. So as long as we get the second one cleared pretty quickly, we should we should be fine. We've done three, basic or two, in the amount of time that it's taken us to do this. But there is stuff that we can grab in the garage as well. 
uh, including ammo, which I would definitely recommend getting these thermal clips because you're going to need them. You can see his garage is full of vehicles and all this other stuff. He was probably using them all. You got to love it. Now, it is worth mentioning that there is a heavy weapon that we don't have called the uh, M622 uh, Avalanche, which is very useful because it doesn't kill the enemies, meaning no new ones will spawn in. Uh, what it does instead is it actually uh, freezes them in place for 30 seconds. Pretty much it was incredibly useful for just running in, sealing the sealing the door, and then and then just running out. Super easy to use that if you have it, which you if you're doing this mission first, you, you probably don't. So, you know, keep that, keep that in mind. I would also like to mention that the guy that I was talking about, the, the Dossier you. Warlord, highly recommend uh, if you do get him, you should bring him on this mission because he's incredibly, incredibly useful. So as we go into the utility side of this area, we want to be incredibly aggressive because these Vorcha will actually just keep spawning and we don't want that. We don't want to deal with these guys. So we're going to charge. We're going to kind of just stay on top of them, use these little clips here as whatever we can. We're going to hopefully just turn around. The shotgun's super strong, uh, obviously for us because we are a Vanguard. And then we're going to warp and finish this one off. And uh, potentially, we were able to take him down. And then we're going to use this for cover here. Our health is a little low, but like I said, we want to play this super, super aggressive. So we're going to we're gonna try to do that. We're going to pop out here and shoot this guy. And we're going to charge. Unfortunately, I, it's just not allowing me to shoot, which is a little rough. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to warp. Then we're going to fire. And then we're going to charge. We're, and right there, you're actually seeing a new enemy. That is a, uh, a, a Vorcha Pyro. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to throw this concuss concussive flashbang. We're going to warp. And then our hope is that three, two, one. Perfect. We were able to get the third. Basically, you just want to delay them as much as possible. There's Gorm. Nice shot. Nice shot. He's so Watch good. My back. I'll deal with Archangel. And there we are. We're immediately going to actually switch to our heavy grenade launcher here because this is going to allow us to kind of keep these guys kind of cleaned up. And we're going to go ahead and warp Garm. We're going to switch back to our rifle here and uh my hope is that we can just charge garm fortunately we're not able to charge garm but we are able to ch charge this guy and just kind of take out another krogan and then we want to watch out for this one as well uh garm himself obviously is going to be a little bit of a problem but uh hopefully we can warp him and we're gonna hopefully get up here before he takes down garris once you kill garm garris health will actually fully recharge so um we're not in a in a bad pickle there we're going to just be a little bit careful. And we should be able to take him down, no problem. We're going to actually use... Uh, he's protected by armor, so we're not going to be able to. But the flashbang should help a little bit. And then we'll go ahead. His armor's down. We'll go ahead and concussive shot and warp. That's going to prevent him from healing. And then Garm's taken down. Hi, right, Garm. And grab this med kit real quick. Woo! What's up, Garrus? We did it, Bromigo. We did it. So it's not going to fully... I don't think his health is going to fully recharge from there, but that is the Eclipse. The Eclipse is down, my friends. And get this. The Blood Pack defeated. I just... I'm so excited about it, you know? We... Uh, luckily, we did use all of our heavy our, our heavy weapons, which uh, is potentially not going to be too great, but I do think that it made that that fight against the Blood Pack significantly easier. So we'll just ha have to have to figure out how to deal with the next thing, right? Which is, uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's talk to Garrus and see what's going on here. Hi, bud. How you doing? Hmm. Tough bastards, but I've seen worse. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. Sure does. There's one tough son of a bitch. You knew him? You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. 
He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Hmm. Not this time. Should we go? Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Derek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Oh! We have a gunship. And you'll see Garrus's health is restored just a little bit. And now we're going to have to deal with these guys coming in. Uh, that is not the best news. Jentha being one of those. I kind of like Jentha, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? So we're going to see if we can take her down. Uh, she does have... She does have shields, pretty big, pretty big shields. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to switch to our, uh, we're going to keep, we're going to switch to our shotgun actually here. We want to focus on Jentha and hope that we can take her down before the others, but we don't want to only focus on her, right? Um, that is not exactly what we want. And we want to be careful here as well. We're going to go ahead and warp this Legionnaire. Unfortunately, taking a ton of damage there. We're going to go ahead and charge. And then we're going to back up and use this couch as cover. We're going to concussive shot this trooper. Go ahead and do that. And then we're going to wait for warp uh, or overload. Let's use overload. And then uh, we'll wait. Flashbang. Like I said, Jintha's going to be chilling there. Uh, but we're not going to worry too much about her. We're going to concussive shot this guy. Keep him down as much as we can. Take out the shields of Jentha, which I think we'll be able to do in a second. We're actually going to go ahead and see if I can get a flashbang grenade in there. I don't think so, but... Her shields are looking really low. I think that guy was taken out as well. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to warp. Now let's finish you off. Charge. Jentha obviously able to do a tremendous amount of damage incredibly quickly. We're going to wait and hopefully uh, we'll get a shotgun shot off here. Obviously, we have incendiary ammo on our shotgun. We're going to charge now that her health is gone and take out Jentha. Jentha is defeated. All right. Looks like we need to do some... Whoop. Looks like we need to take out some peeps here, which we can do that from up here. We're actually going to go ahead and switch to our... Oh, we're going to leave our shotgun. So they're going to try to come up and take him down here. And we are just going to mess them up as they approach. We're going to go ahead and concussive shot this guy because I think that will take him out. And then we'll go ahead and charge here, taking him out as well. And we need to watch our health because there's another heavy right here. In fact, we're going to go ahead and warp and charge, taking that one down. It's both of them down. Like I said, we need to watch out because there's even more here. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, no! We need to back up. Back up, back up, back up. Watch our health. Woo! Oh, man, that was a little sketchy. So you can see, insanity is no joke, my friends. Insanity is no joke. We're going to go ahead. We got a Legion here. We're going to warp him. We're actually going to charge here just to stun him just for a second. And hopefully concussive will kind of take him down long enough so that we can kill him with a shotgun from ranged. And then uh, we have a Centurion as well. Perfect. He's down. We'll go ahead and pick up some ammo here. Looks like that is all of them down. Nice job. I think we did it, guys. Oh, no! Garrus! Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Ahead. All right, so there is actually a really good spot for us to be in, which is this planter right here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop here and we need to take down Tarek. You'll see how much damage this thing has already suffered uh, because of the because of the, the renegade option that we did earlier. So we're actually going to see if we can, we're gonna leave our shock. We're gonna switch to the carn the, the our predator pistol actually. We're going to see if uh, we can get that incendiary. Obviously, you can't really charge this. But we can warp. Again, you're seeing kind of the use, the usefulness of Miranda. She's incredibly, incredibly good. This thing's going to reposition. We're actually just going to come on this side here. And this is one of the best positions that you can be in while you fight 
this and uh obviously we're going to have some more troopers come in but do you think this was just going to be an easy fight i don't think so not today my friends not today we're going to go ahead and pro try to pump some damage into this guy as well uh he's protected by shields so we're not going to be able to i'm going to try to get his shields down perfect and then we're going to concussive and warp Unfortunately, my shots are missing entirely there. Go ahead and take down this trooper. He's changing position, so we're actually going to charge here. And back over to this section here. Uh, I don't think that trooper's dead, but maybe somebody was able to finish him off. We're going to go ahead and warp. Yeah, see, as we're getting hit by this planter. Gunship is almost... Getting pretty low on health. Need to watch the rockets that are being shot at. We're going to go ahead and warp. Obviously, we do not have Garrus here. Unfortunately, he was taken down. He's laying on the floor right in front of us. Switch cover again. We're going to see if we can. It's getting super close to finishing off Tarek. Unfortunately, he runs away. We'll overload this shield. Taking some serious damage there, so we need to be a little bit careful. Trooper going in. Looks like all we have is troopers here, so we should be okay. Try to get as much headshots as possible, taking out that trooper. We have another one that we're going to go ahead and warp here, because he's actually already low. That will take him out, and then we need to take down this gunship, which we should be able to do. It's incredibly low. We're going to switch sides here, because it's moving. We're going to use the planter, and with just a few more shots, this one of the hardest missions at this point in the game is going to be taken down. We're going to go ahead and use warp, which should hopefully almost be enough. Tarek's gunship goes down. Three mercenary groups have been defeated. And let's hope Garrus. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I swear. Let's hope Garrus is okay. Garrus. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Saeed saying Garrus isn't going to make it? Well, we got a thousand experience. We're now level eight and our squad points went up by two. So now we can do some stuff there. Extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity as Garrus Vicarian useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. We got the Vindicator Battle Rifle, we got the Submachine Gun Damage, we got Tech Damage, and we got 20, 40,000 credits! Because Cerberus gave us 20,000, and we had 20,000 credits uh, that we found, and 500 Element Zero. Successful mission, I would say. And we got the trophy, the Archangel. You'll love to see it. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? <laughs> Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. <laughs> One of my favorite lines. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. 
I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. I am such a fan that they actually gave him scars that are prevalent. They're going to be there forever. Um, he, it's not like, oh yeah, he survived it. It's like, no, he he actually took, he took considerable damage from that fight. And uh, I love that. I think that's awesome. I, I, I really do. Not that I love that he took damage. I just think it's cool that the game reflects that he took damage. Anyways, we can talk to Man, Kelly here. To... How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. Uh, Garrus is tough. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Don't you do that. I feel the same way. I know exactly what you mean. You two would be such a cute couple. Yeah. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages. Anything else, Commander? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to I talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Hmm, I think that's I pretty much go. it. So okay. we could have flirted Maybe with Kelly there, but uh, I, I also, you know, hey, Garrus, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we have a uh, 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 a few different things here, um, which is this mission here, but we also have, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, glad I didn't sign up. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all of those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most with what you did for me. It's from John Whitson. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. You're absolutely welcome. And then we also have a message, Cerberus Command Request. Oops, which I obviously just did again. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like to you to look into a situation on Lorik, a nearby planet in the Father System. Scan the planet for a base where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our tr operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter, extract the, ex uh, the operative. The operative is beyond rescue. Recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have collected. This is a very delicate matter. We trust you. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate that. Anyways, that's all of the messages messages we can get. Although there should be one that we can actually get from somebody regarding Garrus, but for some reason we didn't receive that yet, and uh, potentially we'll we'll keep an eye out on it, and I'll show you for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk to Joker after my battery is reconnected. So it is worth mentioning that now that my controller's charging, uh, that while you're sitting here, that button? nah, you can actually just over here. Uh, uh, Joker and, and some of the things he says if you're just sitting around and um, I'll show the good ones. Hanging in space with a jazz trio. Now coming with the bass. Like that? That's perfect. Ah, sorry, that was supposed to go to my earpiece. Joker! What? What? So let's talk hey, to Commander, Joker. We got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite with that pole up his ass. That's so rude. How dare you talk about him like that? I assume everything's going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against them. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my <laughs> opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. So, how do you think well, we're Normandy's doing? not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, I assume good for now. Good. Fractured my... I assume good for now. that's it for now. See you, Commander. And that's all we can get from Joker for now. I want to know Do you have more a specific inquiry? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Edie doesn't really say anything, but yeah, that dialogue that you get from Joker is just phenomenal. And uh, definitely, definitely worth getting. So, like the end of every single mission, like I said, we want to check around and make sure that we're talking to everybody. It's important uh, because there, there really is so much story that's actually told to us, uh, you know, in between things. Commander, can 
help you with something? Uh, I don't think he's going to say any. Oh. I have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific, or are you just checking in? Uh, don't be so formal, dude. Know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. Yep. You're still in top you shape. like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? None needed. Glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, no, I used it is to not. what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. You know, I actually like Jacob a lot more than I remember liking Jacob. I remember Commander, him being kind of boring. All right, so like I said, obviously we're gonna get a little bit more dialogue from from everybody if we if we actually want that, if that's something that we choose to do. So of course we do have the professor dossier still on Omega, and I do recommend doing that next. In fact, but we're gonna take this elevator downstairs. We're gonna head to. Uh, we could go to the captain's cabin, but there's no real need to. Uh, even though we do have some new ship models there, uh, I'll show those in a different thing. We're gonna go to the cruise quarters and talk to uh, our crew, as you do when you go to the crew quarters. So we have this section here. We can overhear a conversation with these guys. Dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Yep. Agreed with that. Absolutely agreed with that. This is, of course, a suicide mission, so we could talk with, uh, potentially check in with Kasumi and see if she says anything interesting. Hey, got a minute? Yeah. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I did. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. That's true. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Interesting. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. All right, I'll see you, Kasumi. You're awesome, by the way. I love you. I love you. You're you're great. You're great. So they didn't add too much dialogue for her. Um, I'm curious if we can end up getting this. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's Yeah, man. there it is. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep talking. That's why we got the food, so we could get that dialogue from them. Uh, there's more dialogue. Kasumi will actually mention his food as well, but but maybe that's later. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. Yep. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Yeah, well. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man, and I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Why should I? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Hmm. Cerberus protection? You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Yeah. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. 
By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Mm. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Yeah, I feel that. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's funny. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Yeah, I feel like they don't they don't really share who Talk they are. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool. Oh no, we already we already talked about that. No, 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 we the already we don't is, need that. You were great before we I want to know about your mom. You told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Oh. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Yeah, I'm glad you did, because that sounds Thanks horrible. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Like Miranda's got to deal with some... That's some heavy stuff, man. That's some heavy, heavy stuff. Of course, we're not done yet. I hear that there's somebody else we can speak to in the, uh, the main battery over here. Now that we recruited Garrus, the Archangel himself, we now have access to this room here. So you can talk to Edie, we can talk to Garrus, we can monitor this to get Disruptor Torpedo Codex, and, uh, Edie, what's up? This area of the ship? She'll kind of tell General us what it is. Control station. The ship's batteries are controlled from here. Yep. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. Great, thanks. Shepard. Need me for something? I just want to talk, Garrus. I missed you so much. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. Uh, well, we're not really with them, but... We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Oh, man. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Hmm, you were a thug? It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties, that was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. All right, what about your history? How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Oh, God. Garrus, you're awesome, though. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. That's cool. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. 
A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Jeez. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. You know, that sounds like a loyalty mission to me. We need to help our boy Garrus take down Sidonis. For Shepard, sure. Need me for something? Yeah, let's uh, hear about the server's crew. What do you think? Have the crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Now, he is the first alien on the ship, so who knows? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. Nice. Still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Well, I guess we can do that once we get the professor, have huh? You got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. I just need to get the line. To later, I just need guys. to get the line. We'll get I'll that a lot. You need. Calibrations. We're in the middle of some uh, calibrations. Trust me, that's going to be... That's pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm a big fan of getting Garrus on board. Uh, I think it's just so cool to have him here. It feels like old times, and it, it, it really was. I know that we could have gotten the dialogue, like, or the, the scene that I told you guys about. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. I enjoyed it. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? We must save Everyone's humanity. Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Every year? Hell yeah! Chakwas, you're awesome. You're a good person. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see Commander. you later. All right, let's go check in. We got some other options that we can go look at, some other parts of the ship that we can check. Uh, obviously, I want to check with our with our friends, the engineers. And uh, Zaid Masani is also down here, and we haven't talked to him on board this ship at all yet uh, since we recruited him on Omega. So I just wanted to point that out. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. True. Aye, but in the right hands, it could taste like mighty fine ass. Mmm, delicious. Eat that booty like groceries, you know what I'm saying? What can we do for you, Commander? Uh, that's pretty much all we can do um, with these guys. Do, but I just wanted to get that little that little story bit that they have there. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but we need to go find Zaid and see what he's been up to. See what he's, see what he's doing, what he's rocking. Uh, he's not downstairs. He's actually over here on the starboard cargo. And he actually is watching. He has surveillance of uh, all the areas of the ship, which is a little creepy, uh, Zaid. But hey, you gotta keep gotta keep eyes out. We can examine this rifle. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Oh, it's kind of cute. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicam. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died. Bandit. My first <laughs> impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. 
Nice job, Saeed. Nice job. I mean, hopefully, you know, hopefully it was for a good reason, but probably not. Uh, you're Zaid. What about this blood pack helmet here? Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. <laughs> I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Dude, you're so cool, Zaid. You're so cool, man. Go ahead and use that trash compactor, and then we can eject it. Goodbye, garbage! I don't really know what the point of that is, but hey, it's there. You can do it. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Yeah. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Well, Garrus is a good dude, ma'am. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. I think I killed more than you. Guess you're elusive, man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Interesting. I should let All right, you I'll go. see you, Zaid. Hey, have later. a good day, man. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. I he's he's such a cool character because like, what are his motivations? You know, he's like, oh, I just want to see a lot of mercs die. It's like, okay, but like, obviously for there, you know, for a reason. Like, there's something about you that that like you're, you know, a change of heart, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and let's check this. I'm actually curious to see. We don't have any new messages. I was curious to see if we would have any. Still. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. Oh, I missed Take what care. she said. Something about not wanting to be alone with him. I'm guessing it's about Saeed. So, my friends, that will be it for today's episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. We can check our squad points here and see that we do have four points. We're waiting until we have... Uh, or we have two points. I'm waiting until we have four points so that we can just go into this heavy charge here. Uh, and we are going to go with, with heavy charge, in fact, which increases our charge's impact, knocking enemies back further and doing more damage. The focus generated by this field also briefly slows down the world around you, giving more time to react when coming out of the charge, which I think is better than area charge, which improves your charge so it unleashes a wave of biotic force around the impact point. We're not going to watch. The point is, uh, yeah, that's good for AOE clears, but honestly, you probably shouldn't be charging into a pack of a pack of mobs anyways, because that's going to be very dangerous. So uh, heavy charge, I think, just kind of helps you deal with that that one isolated target uh, and gets you into position better, and, and you can kind of you can kind of deal with it. So we will be doing that. But anyways, I do want to point out that we are in fact level eight now, six hundred experience to go until we are level uh, nine, which we will be getting in the next mission, which is going to be recruiting the professor back on Omega in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you especially you watching in the premieres uh almost every single day around 2 p.m eastern you guys are the bee's knees uh, i'm gonna try to get this episode these episodes out as quickly as possible i've actually changed my mind on the monday wednesday friday thing because uh uh i know it's not you know the series isn't for everybody and it's not super popular but for those that do enjoy it they really enjoy it so i want to make sure that we kind of kind of get through it uh and get those get those videos out for you guys as, as quickly as possible thank you guys so much for watching uh likes comments really sincerely does help these videos out so please do that also you can check me out on patreon.com slash missile dine online uh which is a member membership uh type subscription service uh and you can actually just become a, a patron over there and uh and support these videos and and uh, support me and i appreciate that so thank you guys so much remember never give up never surrender bye everyone <laughs>